Hi, before we start this review program for master electricians using Moodle app, maybe it's not for you. If it is not for you, please close the video and don't watch. Sorry, no hard feelings. Bye. RME online review using Moodle app is for people who believes that technology at their fingertips can make the review online organized and easier, and the combination of old ways and the new ways is better to develop free colon stock knowledge that they can be used during the board exam. Then, this is for you, okay? Now, in this review notes, we will discuss the Philippine Electrical Code and some questions related to PEC that appears in RME board exam. One of those are all about clearances, distances, support, and high requirement of electrical equipment installation. This is part one based on the categories and classification I made during my review of exam for RME. I hope you will learn something about this as we go on. This topic is wide in terms of discussion because practices of the electrical installer or electrical contractor is still not aligned with the implementation of the Philippine Electrical Code related to residential, commercial, and industrial application, we are so influenced by so many standards, okay? However, things are changing nowadays. More are getting interested in how our code will be implemented. Let us revisit some problems that we may encounter in the board exam that is related to our topic. I choose two topics that Clearances, distances, and support intervals can be asked in PEC. That is Article 3.42 Intermediate Metal Conduit and Article 3.94 Concealed Knob and Tube Wiring. Please observe the pattern because you can apply most of the question in your review of the PEC exam. Let's proceed. Example problem of wiring methods commonly asked in board exam is related to Article 3.94, page 273. The problem reads like this. It is a wiring method using knobs and tubes and flexible non-metallic tubing for the protection and support of a single insulated conductors concealed in hollow spaces of walls and ceilings of buildings. It's a definition actually. And out of the choices tells us if it is an open wiring on insulators or open wiring with knob and tubes or concealed knob and tube wiring or knob and tube wiring. The correct answer can be found in page 273, article 3.94. The correct answer is letter C, concealed knob and tube wiring. Easy, right? Let us proceed to the next one. Another example problem of clearance questions in PEC is related to the wiring methods of concealed knob and tube wiring. It was asked, what is the clearance between conductors that shall be maintained for a concealed knob wiring? Answers can be found in 2017 PEC Article 3.94, page 274. The correct answer is 75 mm clearance between conductors. Please read clearances on page 274. Remember that for concealed knob and tube, the keyword here is between conductors. Another possible problem for concealed knob and tube wiring method, it was asked, what is the clearance between conductors shall be maintained and the surface over which it passes? Answer can be found in 2017 PEC Article 3.94, page 274. To be exact, please read page 274 of PEC 2017, section 3.94.2.10, Clearances. The keyword here is between conductors and surface over which it passes. The answer is 25 mm, and that's letter B. Please be careful because we have very close number to 25 mm. It's 26 mm. If no 25 mm in the choices, the possible answer is 26 mm. If there are 25 and 26 mm, exact value is 25 mm or 1 inch. Another possible problem for knob and tube wiring method is, it was asked, 
concealed knob and tube wiring shall be supported within blank of each side of its top or splice. What is the support distance between each splices? Answers can be found in 2017 PEC Article 3.94, page 274. To be exact, please read page 274 of PEC 2017, section 3.94.2.21, Securing and Supporting. The keyword here is to support each side of its top or splice. The answer is letter A, 150 mm, its knob tube wiring shall be supported. Okay? So, another possible problem for knob and tube wiring method is it was asked, concealed knob and tube wiring shall be supported at an interval not exceeding blank. What is the support interval? Is it 1.2 meter, 1.3 meter, 1.4 meter, or 2 meters? So, the keyword here is support interval. The answer is letter C, 1.4 meter or 1,400 mm. Nub and tube wiring shall have a support interval. Okay? So, another possible problem for nub and tube wiring method is when it was asked about the permitted uses of nub and tube wiring. Is it for extension of the existing installation? Is it for unfinished attic and roof spaces or it is for hollow spaces of walls and ceiling or possible all of this the correct answer can be read in 2017 pec page 273 section 3.94.2.1 uses permitted so with pec knowledge you can easily answer letter d all of this now, another possible problem to ask for knob and tube wiring method is about its not permitted usage. Concealed knob and tube wiring shall not be used in theater, motion picture studios, commercial garage, all of this. The correct answer can be found in PEC 2017, Section 3.94.2.3, Uses Not Permitted, page 273. The answer is letter D. All that mentioned places, knob, and tube wiring shall not be used. With PEC knowledge, you can easily answer letter D. Okay, those are all for concealed knob and tube wiring. Let us proceed to Article 3.42, Intermediate Metal Conduit. Let us study a little question that is appearing in PEC exam about Intermediate Metal Conduit or Type IMC. This is PEC 2017 Article 3.42, page 223, which cover the use of IMC, installation, construction, and specification. Here we go. First problem is a definition. It is a metal raceway of circular cross-section with integral or associated couplings, connectors, and pittings approved for the installation of electrical conductors. If we read 2017 PEC, page 223, article 3.42, we can found out that the answer is intermediate metal conduit, that's letter D. It can be found at section 3.42.1.2, page 223, to be specific. Second problem in PEC about IMC is what is the standard length of the IMC? Is it 5 meter, 4 meter, 2 meter, or 3 meter? We can find out that the answer is letter D from the choices that we have. It's 3 meters or 3000 mm. You can check it in PEC section 3.42.3.11, page 224 to be specific, IMC is standard length. Third problem in PEC about IMC is what is the smallest or the minimum trade size of IMC? Can it be 15 mm, 20 mm, 12 mm, 25 mm? So trade sizes can be asked in PEC. Either it is the minimum trade size or the maximum trade size, okay? 
for here, we can find out that the answer is letter A from the choices that we have. It's 15 mm or 1 half inch. You can check it in PEC section 3.42.2.11, page 223 to be specific, IMC minimum sizes. So, third problem or fourth in the PEC about IMC is what is the largest or maximum trade size in IMC? Okay, is it 200 mm? 150 mm, 100 mm, 50 mm. We can find out that the answer is letter C from the choices that we have. It's 100 mm or 4 inches. You can check it to be specific in section 3.42.2.11, page 223, maximum size of IMC. The fourth problem in PEC that we might encounter regarding IMC is if an IMC is used, there shall not be more than the equivalent of blank quarter bends between pool joints. So, it was asked how many or the maximum quarter bends between pool joints. So, it is 2 bends, 4 bends, 3 bends, 5 bends. We can find out the answer in, in PEZ, okay? It is letter B from the choices that we have. It is four quarter bends between pool joints. You can check it in section 3.42.2.17, page 224, IMC bends number in one run. Okay, that, that is the specific pages that you can find the answer. For our question, it's letter V. Okay, here is another question that we might encounter regarding IMC. IMC shall be passed within what distance from its electrical box, junction box, cabinet, or near its termination? Drawings are presented for visualization, but during board exam, it wasn't there. Is the answer 900 mm, 800 mm, 600 mm, 500 mm? We can find out that the answer is letter A from the choices that we have. It's 900 mm near any electrical boxes, outlet box or junction box or in, uh, near termination. You can check it in PEC section 3.42.2.21, page 224, IMC, Securing and Supporting. Okay, the next problem that we may encounter for IMC is IMC shall be supported at an interval of how many meters its support interval is the question drawings are presented for visualization but during board exam it wasn't there our choices is 1.5 meters 2 meters 2.5 meters or 3 meters based from the choices we can immediately choose letter a but if we read pec 3.42.2.23 paragraph b it says that Letter D is the correct answer, 3 meters. That's for horizontal support. It's 3 meters. However, you may encounter question about vertical support interval. Well, it's good you read the code. The 3 meter support becomes 6 meters support interval when vertical, provided that the end of the IMC are all threaded coupling. Interesting pattern of question, right? I hope you will agree. Wow. We are done with two articles discussing IMC and concealed knob and tube wiring. If you can see the pattern of the questioning as applied in PEC exam using our two examples for conduits and wiring methods which are the IMC and the concealed knob and tube wiring, you can tabulate and formulate your review for several types of conduit and other wiring methods. For IMC, we can apply it to other conduits like rigid metal conduit, flexible metal conduit, PBC, HDPE, EMT, FMT, etc. Look for trade sizes, minimum size, maximum size, standard length size, support near the electrical boxes, and support interval which we learn in IMC. Like for example, we learned that it's 3 meters support interval horizontal then becomes 6 meters when vertical, right? Applying those patterns in your review with different conduit will definitely help you to strategize your review exam, okay? For concealed knob and tube wiring, we can see patterns like uh, clearance between conductors, support near splice, 
support intervals, permitted use, and not permitted use. When we apply the pattern to other wiring methods, you can strategize your review, okay? Okay, so much for this PEC review part one. I hope you have learned something new. PEC review is not so difficult, right? If you have a strategy. More review notes will follow in the Moodle app for RME review. Good luck and try solving more problems in the Moodle app. For now, you can subscribe in this channel to keep you updated or you can visit my Facebook page and like us to support the Master Electricians Review. FractalKnowledge.com offered online review app, the mobile app, which will assist you in your review goal. There are tons of questions and answers to build your stack knowledge. The Moodle app is available in iOS for iPhone and Play Store for Android. Please contact the following person and message them for more information. Good luck and see you in your review.